Have any of your girls ever turned against you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Through the police. One girl. Yeah, that's... One girl. Came from, only one girl turned against you. Came from Los Angeles and uh, brought her here to San Francisco. And uh, she was on that sherm, and I didn't know it, right? And so she... Uh, I was staying in Pacifica, so she walked out the house and she was all high and everything and telling the neighbors that she was kidnapped and all that. And the police came to my house and arrested me and took all of my pictures off the wall and all my pipping stuff, you know, to the coke room of San Francisco. But I, you know, I beat the case though because uh, my lawyer beat the case. Cause see, I had Willie Brown. I had a good lawyer. I had with him. Yeah. Okay. Well, you went to jail in 1972. Yeah. And James how long were you there? Jamestown. That was okay. a, uh, that's a camp. Okay. How long were you there? Oh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. What did you get, what'd you get uh, convicted of? Uh, Pippin and Pound. Pippin and Pound, right. Okay. But then in 1983, you actually went to prison for five years. Five years, yeah. Okay, what was what was that for? United States passport illegal to go to Europe and play music, and it was on oh. probation. Oh, so it had nothing to do with pimping at all? No, played the guitar. Okay, what, every, you know when you did these two these two stints when you did the the two and a half years in seventy two and the five years in mm -hmm. uh, in eighty three when you came out. Did you just pick up the pimp operation like you left it, or did it take a while? I came out, okay? I came out playing music. But when I came out, they sick this ball on me, right? And uh, she came down on, on the track, San Francisco. She said, I'm looking for Philmo Slim. I want to choose him. I'm from Seattle, okay? So she said, I got all this money I want to give him. So when I come down there on the street, they tell me, they say, there's a woman down there looking for you, man. A fine chick, you know, and she want to choose you. So now, I'm just coming out, out of the field of penitentiary, you know. Uh, I'm not on parole, but I'm on supervision because I did two thirds of my time, okay? That's how I go with the feds. So uh, this chick came out and she was talking to me. She said, I want you to sit, put me in a whole house. I'm going to do this, right? So. I waited out, you know, I said, nah, I don't know about this, you know, I said, but now is she telling me this for real, you understand me, then I'm gonna miss the money. So now I'm in between a rock and a hard place, you know. Now, if, I, I, if she not the police, then it's, I'm being entrapped, okay? But now she was the police, okay? And uh, I told her, I said, well, like this, I said, well, you know, I, I'm a musician, I play music. You know, I said, I've been paying attention for all that pimping stuff. I say, uh, I'm playing music and uh, well, I just wanted you to put me in, in the whole house in the battle, right? So I said, well, I don't know. You know, I said, well, I'm, I said, I'll tell you what, you on the job. I say, uh, I'm playing in Richmond the Saturday night and uh, you take this little key, this little punch thing here and you click on everybody that come in, right? And, I, and, and she said, okay, so I picked up and I went and did my music. And she was there with the little key points marking the people that go in. And that night she said, well, I like that, but I still want to, you know, I want to make some real, real money. I said, well, I don't know about that. I said, you know, I'm not in the life, you know. I said, and I, you know, I just come out of the feds and, and I'm on the supervision. So at the same time, you know, uh, she kept pestering me about this, you know, and uh, so I seen her again. She said, oh, I got this money for you, you know, she said, but I got, I got this date down in the Hilton. So, and uh, I said, well, I don't know, you know, so I got to wait for her. Then she called me back again and she told me, she said, I'm the police. She said, and I told them that you were the gentleman. You didn't try to have sex with me. You didn't try to do nothing like that. You know, you told me you just got out and he wasn't in the life. You know, he was going to play his music. And she said, she told him, I told him that let's go get somebody else. So, so enough, she was the police, you know. And uh, so that night when she came down there to see me, all the girls said, that's the police, that's the police. She said, yeah, I'm the police, but uh, I'm not going to do nothing to film on Slim because he's a gentleman. 
And that was the end of that. Well, in the book, in your book, you talked about how judges and district attorneys actually get paid off sometimes. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay. Have you actually done that yourself? No, I, no, I never paid no judges off or no people like that. You know, everything was through the courtroom, through the lawyer and the DA. You know. Okay. All and how? You know the reduces or the sentence. Say you got a felony. And, you know, then they'll drop it down to a misdemeanor, or, you know, or where you're not uh, six months or a year in the, in the county jail. You know, still a year and a day. If they give you a day only that year, you go in the penitentiary. But a okay. year you can do in the county jail. But a year and a day, you got to go to the penitentiary. 